Well, they went and done it. They finally made a decision about Leap 16. There will be a Leap 16. And here we have OpenSUSE.org news about Leap 16. I will link this article in the show notes below. I'll read them to you. Most of it. OpenSUSE release team confirms that there will be a successor to Leap 15, and it's a numerical leap forward. As many eagerly await the arrival of Leap 15.6 this year, a path of Leap 16 as a successor awaits, based on SUSE's new adaptable Linux platform, or ALP, also known as ALP. Codebase OpenSUSE Leap 16 will combine the benefits of an advanced enterprise server distribution and user-friendly maintenance and security that is the hallmark of the Leap series. So this, this is basically referring to uh, SUSE ALP is an immutable distribution. And every time that all, all these companies are, that are coming out with the immutable system, they always, they always say, push, the idea that it's more user-friendly maintenance, it's more secure. I'm sure it is more secure. But they always talk about it being more user-friendly maintenance. You don't talk about the parts of an immutable distribution that doesn't work. Like in my case, scenario with Inkscape and Inkstitch on micro OS. I can't get it to work. Okay, I can get it to work. I can't get it to work like normal people can get it to work. Been doing Linux since 1998. I know for sure that I can get it to work. But low tech Linux, I'm, I want things to just work. I don't want things to be hard like they used to be. And in in some cases, the immutable idea is going to make things hard again. And probably for most people in most user case scenario, if all you're doing is getting your email and looking up recipes, immutable is probably going to be just fine. I will continue on. Leap 16 is aiming to strike a balance between cutting edge and a traditional Linux operating system emerging from SUSE's development of ALP and initiatives to effectively integrate community packages. Yes, ALP, my understanding is, from what I know, ALP is not designed to have a desktop environment on it. And OpenSUSE, and when they take ALP, they're going to have to put a desktop environment on it which is also the case for SLE, which is SUSE Leap 15 code base, is SLE. That was kind of true for that too. ALP is more, of a, ALP is more in the direction of micro OS. So I'm not sure where they're, where they're splitting their balance between ALP going to micro OS, which makes sense, it's immutable to immutable, and out going to leap and not being immutable. And spoiler alert, down below a little lower, it says it will be non-immutable. So they're taking out to micro OS, keeping mutable immutable, and they're also going to take out to leap and make the immutable not immutable. I don't know how they're gonna make this work. So at least for me personally, I prefer not immutable. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the immutable as it is today. No, I haven't tried Fedora's, what is it, silver, blue, silver light, something. I haven't tried Fedora's immutable, mostly because I just don't like Fedora. Okay, we will continue on. The transition to Leap 16 is just not numerical step up, but symbolizes a significant path forward in technology and user experiences. And that is true, 100% true. Whether it's good experience or bad experience, that's yet to be seen. The future of OpenSUSE Leap is based on the innovative concept of SUSE's adaptable Linux platform, ALP. The ALP powers the next generation of OpenSUSE Leap, Leap Micro, and SUSE solutions. It makes distributions more adaptable mm -hmm. to toasters, maybe, and suitable for cloud-native workloads. Yes, probably awesome for a server. 
while also being capable of handling a rapid pace of innovation. Okay. There are no plans to drop the classical non-immutable option for Leap. That's the spoiler alert. There are no plans to turn Leap into an immutable distribution. Both non-immutable or immutable installation variants are available for Leap 15 and are planned for 16. So, on Leap 15, you can do immutable or non-immutable, and Leap 16, they're planning the same thing. You can do it either way. Awesome. Thank you very much, OpenSUSE. Awesome. So, when you start hearing, I'm already seeing it, when you start hearing that Leap is going to go immutable, no, it's not. Right here. Right here from the OpenSUSE dev's mouth. No, it's not. Everyone is encouraged to engage in development. Leap will continue to follow the factory model. The development process will involve gathering requirements, including those from community workshops, to ensure that Leap 16 meets the evolving needs of its users. They're, they're going to ask you, how, how do you want Leap to work? And that they do that a lot. OpenSUSE really does a good job of listening to the community. They don't always do a great job of communicating with the community up until now. And thank you, OpenSUSE, for finally letting us know what your plans are with Leap because it's kind of been held up in the air. Leap and Leap Micro will both provide users with clear migration paths and su sufficient time to upgrade. In case of Leap 16 delays, the release team may extend the life cycle of Leap 15.6 or as a last resort, release a 15.7 to ensure sufficient overlap. Leap 16 will ensure there is no gap between the release of Leap 15's end of life cycle. So that's that's just them being responsible. It it is. It's OpenSUSE, the team behind OpenSUSE, and SUSE itself. They do a fantastic job of making sure that their stuff works. As in the case of Tumbleweed, they've got one of the best testing systems out there for new packages, and they're going to make sure that if you're on Leap, they're not going to leave you out high and dry in between something. They're going to make sure you have a way to continue to do what you do, whether it's Leap based on SLE or Leap based on ALP. And they're going to make a migration upgrade path between the two. So when they do release Leap 16, there will be an upgrade method from 15 to 16. So, thank you very much, OpenSUSE. Great article. I'm going to talk about this just a little bit more. But all in all, I think this is fantastic news. I think OpenSUSE has repositioned itself to end up on my mom's computer. On my mom, my 79-year-old mother's computer. And her computer right now is running Kubuntu LTS. And I do the upgrade every... Two to three years, two and a half years, roughly. And since I've been running OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, I have been so impressed with OpenSUSE that I want OpenSUSE to be on everything that I touch, if possible. And roughly about five months ago, I was set, six months ago, something like that, I was set to put OpenSUSE Leap on my mom's computer. And then right about that same time is when we started hearing there's Leap is going away. There's not going to be any more Leap. And I thought, well, so much for that. I was in the public meeting with the SUSE representative to the OpenSUSE developers when he said, since you're not going to be able to base Leap on ALP, we need to talk about what are you going to use for a replacement for Leap, which is why I did that video saying Leap is going away. And clearly, the OpenSUSE developers do not want Leap to go away. And I'm thinking, I'm pretty confident when I say those people that are using Leap and their Leap 15X and they're happy with it, they don't want Leap to go away either. And you know what? I don't use Leap. I don't want Leap to go away. 
I think slow roll is a neat option. I think slow roll is going to be niche. I think micro OS is going to be niche. I think open SUSE keeping leap going in some form or fashion is a great idea. Now I am once again thinking probably we'll wait for leap 16 to actually happen. I'll do one more upgrade from for her Kubuntu LTS to the uh, 24.04 LTS, which will be good until 26. Right about there, somewhere in that neighborhood, theoretically, Leap 16 should be out at least for beta testing, if nothing else. And that's what I'll test it on. 100%. Time for my personal opinion. This is my personal opinion. There is no evidence for this anywhere yet. I think this spells the end for slow roll. I really do. If you want, if you want up-to-date packages, current package, you know, very recent packaging, you want a rolling release, you're going to be on Tumbleweed. If you want something more stable, more set in its ways, you're going to be on Leap. If you want something immutable, micro OS. And I think those are the three things that OpenSUSE is going to go, is going to run with. You've got your rolling release, your set release, and your immutable. And I think that's going to be OpenSUSE's future. And it's a nice looking future. So there you have it. And, it, and, and also with my opinion involved, and you, we all know what they say about opinions, but there it is. I think it's good news. So let me know what you think in the comments. I think this is awesome news. Leap. Leap is here to stay. But that's all for this video. And as always, thank you so very much for watching.